All right, y'all, good morning. It's uh, day 13 of our journey to get to 30 cities in 30 days. Polaroid last night was a little bit of a stank, so I was too embarrassed to show anyone, so I didn't have it signed, unfortunately. Uh, but luck luckily, we got the Lake Como one. We're leaving Italy. Been here for about six days, and uh, I'm gonna be very sad because I loved Italy. A lot of my favorite cities were in Italy. But like I said, last night we're going to a very beautiful country, one that I've been very excited to go to go, to go to <laughs> for a very long time. And uh, it's gonna be a long train ride, but we're leaving early so we can get there in the beginning of the day. We're gonna drop off all of our stuff and then run around gung-ho. So it should be pretty fun. Okay. One margarita and then one of this. <clears throat> That's it. Last pizza in Italy. I'm gonna miss the pizza. Grazie, ciao. I'm gonna miss saying grazie and ciao and prego so much. minutes early and the train's already here baby we love to see that oh yes it's one of the double decker ones hell yeah i'm gonna miss you italy crazy drivers and all all the times i almost got hit by a car i'm sorry this is so hot right now Heading out of here. I got everything on my uh, my hard drive. This is what I have to do every single day is upload all of this. And there's no desk, so <laughs> this is where my mouse is. <laughs> this was one of the harder train rides. All I kept thinking about was my cats. Even though I'm on vacation, it's not easy being away from them. Maybe that's selfish of me to say, but I mean, that's just how I feel. Dodge one train just to get to uh, another on the rail again. Oh. Na, 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 na. So, do you have everywhere mapped out where you want to go, or are you kind of just like going to a country and then picking the capital and then maybe like another city? Yeah, actually, just the capital. Um... This is Edinson. He's from Peru and is starting a massive 90-day Euro trip. He works from home and decided he wanted to be closer to family that live in Milan, Italy. So this 90-day excursion is for him to try to find a new home in Europe. And we just happened to be on the same train to the next city and became friends. Alright, let's figure out where we're going. Look at that mountain, man. Holy crap. That is a big boy. That's a big boy. We got a little bar and everything. Oh, this is so cool. Howdy. 15 euros. Woo! I want a drink, but not that bad. Oh, we got tables now? Alright, one more train and then we have arrived at our destination. You ready, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm the first one out of a train. I've never been the first one out of a train. <laughs> just follow, just follow my lead. Just come over here. It is very cold here, so we are gonna go to the hostel and possibly drop off our stuff. But I don't think they will let us because they don't let people in until four. And as you can see, the time, I don't know if you can see the time, but it's two o'clock, so pray for us. It's a little neat city. Kind of giving me some Denmark vibes, just without all the color. I was worried that they didn't have this over in Switzerland, but turns out they do. Yeah. One sip, everyone knows the rules. Ooh, 
Swiss water tastes good. It smells good in here. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. Well, he has stuff to drop off. Is, is it possible to drop sure. it off? Just give me a minute. Okay, cool. Great. Where did my whole life to see these? Swiss army knives in Switzerland. They don't get much better than this, folks. And your keys, you're in room 21 on the second floor, so you need to go one floor up. Thanks. Which name is your booking? Uh, Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N. Then your sheets. I love sheets. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys want to stay in the same room? That'd be cool. If you could do that. Sure. And for both of you, if you have questions, you know where to find Thank me. you so much, man. Thanks. Thank you. 21B. Oh, okay. Cool. Emergency exit. I like it. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Surrounded by murderous weapons. What a combo. That's a big ass clock. They got a thing for like dolls in Switzerland. Their Christmas probably goes crazy here. Dude, they got these fountains everywhere, man. Switzerland, kind of giving Rome a run for its money. I don't know, man. They got, they got way more fountains here. Just saying. Hell yeah. All right, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. You want to sign it? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, come over here. I guess burn and then the day. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you almost put 20? <laughs> that would have been awkward. Okay, cool. People really be living out here. B E A beautiful. What's very interesting is that all the other countries have just one color. They don't paint the statues at all. Over here, they got a purple monkey. Almost got hit by a truck again. Dude, the Swiss went crazy with the detail. Holy mackerel. Sneaking in was worth it. <laughs> oh my god. This just keeps going. We're almost there, man. Yeah. Mom. Let's breathe. Oh boy. And we got a pit stop. Oh, pardon me. Big old clock. I mean, a clock. A bell. And then there's more. All right. We did it. We snuck up here. There's somehow more stairs. Right now is probably a bad time to say I'm terrified of heights, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. No. Oh. no, no, we're up. I'm just really scared of heights. <laughs> uh, looks really pretty, though. Okay, just out of curiosity, what does it look like then? Oh my god. Okay. All right, that's enough. Yeah, this is uh this is terrifying. I can see my house from here. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, is there an elevator to get back or <laughs> how does this work? <laughs> no elevator. One out of five stars on Yelp. If you don't look at the outside, it's a lot easier to uh, not know where you're at. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot, lot more scary. Yes, actually. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, we're gonna die! Hallelujah! We survived, man. Yeah. Aww. Wait, can you show the duck? Throughout the day, getting to know Edinson, he kept bringing up what I heard as a duck. So when he was showing me a picture of his dog, I asked if I could see a picture of his duck. But he was really saying dog the whole time. It was very awkward because I barely knew the guy. I asked the guy that works here how much is it to do laundry, and then he said, it's free right now. I was like, what do you mean? He said, if you put it in right now, I can charge it for free. I said, uh, yeah. 
Hell yeah, boy, my clothes smelled so bad. <laughs> so I asked the guy at the front desk what a relatively decently priced uh, restaurant around here is, and he said, welcome to Switzerland. So <laughs> we're gonna try out this, this place called the Restaurant Anchor. He said that it's got some good traditional Swiss food. So yeah, let's give it a go. Dude, the prices here are insane. What the hell? Got some wieners in oh, you got some pizza. Oh yeah, and all done. They didn't even cut his pizza, so he had to cut it all himself. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Byron, I love you, but it is way too cold outside. Like, there's no way that people are outside. I can't even feel my hands right now. I sound like such a Cali boy right now, but like, it is cold out here, man. I'm, I'm like, my skin is getting pale. <laughs> I don't know how y'all do it. Just people chilling, drinking beer and everything like that. No, no sir. No sir. No sir. Homie dried all my clothes and I didn't even, he just put them in a basket for me to put away. You're the man. And after a very nice and peaceful, calm night, Ollie, who was working the front desk earlier, came and sat down and gave us tons of information on Switzerland. He was giving us all kinds of deep knowledge on the state of his country and also his perspective on it, which was really insightful. New country, new friends, same swag. We get in the white t-shirts back tomorrow, baby, because we washed our clothes for the first time in two weeks. If you're wondering why I'm recording in the washer and dryer area is because my roommates are already sleeping. It's pretty late. It's about 10 p.m. or 22 o'clock. I think I said that right. Switzerland is amazing and so, so beautiful. The people here are like so nice. It reminds me a lot of uh, Denmark and Copenhagen. Made a lot of new friends. Uh, shout out to Ali, the hostel host. Edison, the friend that I made on the train ride, and uh, Ahmed, our other roommate in our in our dorm. You guys are all so sick. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. It's very cold here. I might have to buy uh, another layer just because, or at least some gloves because. I am freezing over here, or I'm not right now, but tomorrow is gonna be freaking insane. I can't wait to see the city that we're going to because it's definitely my most anticipated out of all the cities we've been to. Spoiler alert, it's in Switzerland, but I'm not telling you which city it is. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't mean to rhyme, but it's all in my head. Okay, yeah, that's my cue to go to bed. All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. 30 cities. 30 days. 30 cities. 30 days.